The affordable Aspire lineup of devices has been updated with Tiger Lake processors by Intel. This provides quite a substantial upgrade, especially on the GPU side. Moreover, we saw the Aspire 5A51454 listed with a GeForce MX450, which also sounds interesting. However, the Aspire 5 series has never been intended for gaming or heavy computing. Instead, they are meant for people that need to do stuff on the go, and they want it done quickly. This notebook is not really a premium one. However, this doesn't mean it can't utilize materials like aluminum. Also, it's rather light with a weight of 1.45 kilos. Interestingly, the lid acts as a lever for the base, lifting it by a couple of millimeters of the ground to provide a better airflow. Other than that, you get slightly shallow key travel and good clicky feedback. In addition to the barrel style power plug, there is a USB Type C 3.2 Generation 1 port and three type of ports, 2 3.2 Generation 2 and 1 2.0. Also, you get a LAN port, HDMI, and an audio jack. Here, you can upgrade the memory via one RAM slot, while the storage can be expanded via M2 slot and a 2.5 inch SATA drive bay. Thankfully, the SATA connector is included. If you want to see how to open the laptop, you can check out our teardown video. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. This is a budget-friendly machine with a budget-friendly display. The 1080p IPS panel has comfortable viewing angles and a very good contrast ratio of 1470 to 1. It covers only half of the colors of the sRGB gamut, which makes the picture a bit dull. Thankfully, there is no PWM in the brightness adjustment, which makes the long runs on this device comfortable. The battery life is very good with 11 hours of web browsing or 8 hours and a half of video playback. As usual in this class, the Aspire 5 can be equipped with up to the Core i7-1165G7, and GeForce MX450. In order to keep the temperatures down, the clock speed of the Core i5-1135G7 drops to 2 GHz after about 20 seconds into the torture test. This, in turn, results in rather low maximum external temperatures. We monitored about 36 degrees around the WASD area of the keyboard. To be honest, you get more than what you pay for. The input devices are decent, upgradeability is on point, and Acer even provides you with the connection accessories for the 2.5-inch SATA device. Moreover, the battery life is good, and the screen doesn't flicker at any brightness level, which ensures comfort during long periods of use. Sure. The thing lacks an SD card slot, and the integrated GPU is a bit underwhelming, but if you're not going to play heavy games, Aspire 5 might be a pretty good choice for you. If you'd like to find more information about this machine, you can see all of the tests we performed in our in-depth review. Link in the video description below.